In this video we're going to solve this fairly difficult puzzle and at one point we're going to need to use the opposite pattern, twins, quadruplets, and one other technique in order to find one number. This is puzzle number 98 from Sudoku to Go, volume 128 by Soap Opera Digest. If you want to learn more about the techniques and patterns that are used in this channel, go to sudokuprimer.com. There's a techniques section, a pattern section, and lots more Sudoku information out there. Now as I go along, if you have any questions, please leave a comment and I'll try and answer your questions. Okay, first I'm going to fill in some numbers and these should be pretty easy to see. Again, like I said, if you have any questions um, about the numbers I'm placing now, please leave a comment and I'll uh, answer, try and answer your questions. Okay, now we've got all the easy numbers placed. And uh, at this point, I studied this puzzle for a while, and I really couldn't find um, any more numbers until I found this combination of uh, opposite pattern, twins, um, double row elimination, and then quadruplets in order to find one number. And let me explain that to you. First of all, I saw this 1, 9 here, this opposite pattern. The opposite pattern is, is where you have two numbers in a box that are in opposite corners. Now when you see that, look in the middle, uh, middle row that goes through that box and the middle column that goes through that box and see if you can find two numbers that are both in the row and in the column that aren't already in the box. In this case, we have a 7 and an 8 here, and a 7 and an 8 here. So therefore, we know these are 7, 8 twins. We found those using this opposite pattern here. All right, so that's the first thing I noticed. Second thing I noticed was I was looking for threes up here in this section, the top section. And I noticed that there's a 3 here and a 3 here. So one of these has to be a 3, but this couldn't be a 3 because it's one of the 7, 8 twins. So the 3 in box 8 is constrained to the middle column. So therefore in this box, a 3 can't go here, and we have ghost 3's here, so the 3 is constrained to one of these two cells in this column. Then I looked over here in this box, there's a 3 here and a 3 here, so we have ghost 3's here. So we have three ghost threes, and so the three in this box is constrained to one of these two cells. Now if you look at these two boxes together and use double row elimination, you'll see that these two rows are, are eliminated as far as where the three can go in box one here. And if you're not familiar with double row elimination, go to sudokuprimer.com and, and read up on that. You, it's quite useful. In this case, we see that because of double row elimination, the three has to go in one of these two cells. Okay, so that's the third technique. And now, let's see what numbers are missing in and where can where they can go in the in box one. First of all, we got a one, two, three. Okay, four can go only go here. Five, six, seven, 
8, 9. Okay, now did you notice we found quadruplets here? 3, 4, 7, and 9. Because of that, we know that is a 2. Okay, we found that 2 because of the quadruplets. We found the quadruplets because of the 3s constrained to these two cells. We found the 3s because we used double row elimination. And we found that the 3s are constrained to these two columns because of the 7, 8, um, twins we found here. And we found those because of the opposite pattern. Quite a combination of techniques just to find one number, but it worked. Now this is a 2 here. As you can see, we had a T pattern here with a 2 here so uh, that went through here. So we knew the 2 had to go th in one of these two cells. And since we found that 2, we knew, th knew this 2 goes here. Now, um, that helped us find these twos, but we're still kind of stuck. Uh, we've got a two here, a two there. What, um, we, the only thing that this two helped us with was this two here. So now let's look at another um, common couple of techniques in order to find another number. Let's look at row two here. What numbers are we missing? 1, 3, 8, 9. 1, 3, 8, and 9. Okay. okay, here we got a 3 and a 9 in this column, so that can be a 1 or an 8. Here's a 1, so that's 3, 8, 9. Here's an 8, so that's 1, 3, 9. And here's a 3 and a 9, so that's 1, 8. Oh, look at that. So now we see 1, 8 twins here. Okay. Now that we filled in this 2, um, we thought, I thought, okay, let's look at this row here and see if we can find anything else. We can't solve anything, but we found two sets of twins, 1, 8 twins and 3, 9 twins. Now when you find that, if you can't solve the twins, keep in mind that that constrains the numbers that can fit in the rest of this um, the boxes. So let's look at this box right here. Let's see what we can find. Okay, we've got a 1. So 1 can go there or there. 2 is there already. 3 we found is constrained to these two cells. 4 can go here, 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 or here. 5 5 there and a 5 there, so, oh, and there's a 5 there too, so 5 can only go here or here, 6, 7, 8, and 9, where can the 9 go, there's a 9, so, 9, okay, but now I said 8 can go here, here, or here, but if you remember, and this is the point, what I'm trying to point out, this can only be a 3 or a 9 because we found 3 9 twins because of the 1 8 twins we found. So that cannot be an 8, even though an 8 can fit here, here, or here, it looks like. But now that we found these 3 9 twins, we know the 8 is constrained to this column. Okay, so let's look down here. There's ghost 8s here. There's an 8 here. So an 8 has to be here or here, and it can't be there. So we see that the 8 can only fit here. And the way I found that was because of these 1, 8 twins and 3, 9 twins. Now that was part of the 7, 8 twins that we found earlier, so we can fill in that 7 there. Okay. So you see how these twins here can be very powerful, even though we can't solve the twins themselves. We can look around them and see if these twins that we found constrain other numbers. All right, now that we've um, put in these seven, the seven and eight, let's see if we can.
fill in any more numbers. Got a seven, seven. We can put a seven there. There's a seven there. Okay, what are we missing? What's left here? Three and six. There's a three, so that's a six and that's a three. Okay. All right, and then with this three right here, let's see. Three, th three, three, three. Let's see what's missing here. Three, four, six. Three, four, and six are missing here. Remember, in our quadruplets, we found one of these has to be a four. And there's a six, so that's a three right there. And then we have four, six twins right there. And I don't think we can solve those yet. But we found a three here. So that means this has to be a three because the threes were constrained to row one in box one. Okay. That makes this a three. And three, three. That three goes there. All right. Now what are we missing here? We're only missing two numbers. There's a seven there. So that's a one. That's a seven. Is there one and seven were the only two numbers missing there. Okay, now we're only missing one number in this column. That's a nine. Let's see. We've got a four and a seven here. We can't solve yet. Here's a row that's almost done. What are we missing? One, two, six, two and six. So we can solve them. Okay, now let's see, we've got a two here and a two here, so that's a two. Let's see what we're missing in column nine here. Five, eight, nine. There's an eight and a nine, so there's a, f that's a five. We can't solve the eight and nine yet. Two. Okay, there's a two right there. All right. Now let's see. Let's look at this column right here. See what we're missing. One, three, five, nine. One, three, five, nine. So we know that's a three, nine because it's a part of the three nine twins here. Let's see one three five nine. So that's a one three. Three nine one three. One five and five nine. So I can't really do anything with that. Let's let's look at this column here. What are we missing? One, four, five, six, nine. One, four, five, nine. We're missing here. One, four, uh, five, six, nine. So one, four. Let's see, missing one, five here. So that's six, nine there. Six, nine. Oh, there's another one, four right there. Okay. So there's a 1, 4, and there's a 1, 4. Okay, so we've got 5, 6, and 9 left. This has a 5 and a 9 already, so that's a 6 right there. And so there's our 4, 6, 4, and 6 that we are missing earlier. And that's a 4 and a 6 right there. So what do we got left here? Uh, we got one four twins here and five nines. There's a five, so that's a nine, and that's a five. Okay. Let's see. Okay, now we can 
fill in the six there. And there's a five. Okay. What are we missing in this column? Three and nine we're missing there. So we can fill those in. And these were three nine twins there, so we know that's a three. Got a nine there, a nine there, and a nine there, so that's a nine. With that nine, we can finish our fill in our eight there. Okay, and with that eight, what are we missing here? Five and nine, so we can fill those in. Now we can fill in the one fives that we saw earlier. And these are one and four, so we don't know those yet. What's here? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, seven, and eight are missing in this box. There's a seven. There's seven and eight there in this column. So that's one, eight and seven. Okay, now we're missing one, four, one, four, eight here. There's a four and an eight, so that's a one, four, eight. Now we can do the fill in the four sevens in box one, and we just have one and four missing there, and that's it. All right, so you remember the two here. We had to use a combination of four techniques just to find that two. And then we had to use, um, we took advantage of these uh, one eight twins and three nine twins in order to eliminate that eight right there so that we could find this eight. So um, that's a that's a good way to find numbers. When you find tw twins that you can't solve yet, um, see, see how those twins help you uh, constrain other numbers, like we found that 8 constraint here. So, pretty tricky puzzle, uh, but using a combination of techniques a, a few times, we were able to solve it. Um, pretty well, even though it took us a little while. So, well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again on the next video.